dissuade you and turn your back. First John chapter 2, verse 24. Let that therefore abide in you, which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. You will continue. I will continue. We shall all continue in Jesus' name. We're coming back now to John chapter 11. In John chapter 11, we're reading the last uh, few verses there now from verse 55. John chapter 11, we're reading from verse 55. It says that the Jews' Passover was near at hand, and many went out of the country up to Jerusalem before the Passover to purify themselves. Then sought they for Jesus. Then sought they for Jesus. Then you're asking yourself, but some of you are not believing. Some of you are following Pharisees. Some of you are following the Sadducees. Why is it you are seeking for Jesus? Some of them were not seeking for the right reason, but I will seek the Lord aright. I said I will seek the Lord aright. They sought for Jesus and they spake among themselves as they stood in the temple. What think ye? That ye will not come to the feast. Now both the chief priests and the Pharisees had given a commandment that if any man knew where he were, he should show it that they might take him. Those who are unbelievers, and because they were unbelievers, that's why they said what they said, and they did what they did. But thank God, we are here not to oppose Jesus. Am I right? Yes. Not to criticize Jesus. Am I right? Yes. We're here to believe. I say we're here to believe. Yes. I am here to believe. Yes. I am here to receive. Yes. And what Jesus did for Lazarus is no respect of persons. He will do for you tonight. Yes. You will see the glory of God in your life, in your heart, in your soul, in your spirit, in your business, anything around your life, you'll see his glory in Jesus' name. Are you ready to see that glory? Now you must remember the preparation. Take here away the stone. Take here away the stone. And the Bible says, and they took away the stone. And once they took away the stone, and you take away the abomination, take away whatever it is in your life that God is not happy with, then Christ is going to come to you right there, even tonight, and is going to say, mention your name now. Lazarus, come forth. You are coming forth into salvation you are coming forth into life eternal you are coming forth into power you are coming forth into healing you are coming forth into deliverance you are coming forth into success you are coming forth into the light you are coming forth and then all the great clothes and the things that bind you all the curse and all the yoke everything is going to be broken because the lord has told me tonight Lose him and let him go. Lose her and let her go. You are ready to receive. I said you are ready to receive. Where are you now? You are ready to receive. You tell the Lord, Lord, I come. Take away the stone right there. Any defilement, any sin, take everything away and say, Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Take that thing away right there. Take that thing away right there. Any abomination there, any secret sin there, take it away. Take it away. Confess it to the Lord. Repent of it and say, Lord, here I come. Abomination. I take that away. Defilement, I take that away. All the anger, I take that away. All the criticism, I take that away. All the evil, I take that away. I'm not going to allow any sin to block my way. I'm not going to allow any tradition to block my way. I'm not going to allow any religion to block my way. Take it away. Take it away. Take it away. And as you take it away, the Lord is going to speak power into your life tonight. He's going to speak authority into your life. 
life tonight is going to speak salvation, salvation, salvation. It's your life tonight. You'll never forget today. You'll never forget today. The day you came out of your spiritual death and you came into life, eternal life, spiritual life, abundant life, heavenly life. You're coming into that life tonight. Take that stone away. Take that sin away. Take that magic away. Take that occultism away. And take all the lies away. Everything that is blocking the glory of God in your life, take it away, take it away, take it away, take it away, and say, Lord, now I'm ready. Now I'm ready. Let him speak salvation, forgiveness, redemption. It's your life right there. He'll take your guilt away. He'll take your condemnation away. He will take the stony heart away out of your heart right there. It's there, it's there, it's there. Where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst of them. And if you will just take that stone away, you will see the glory of God. On your wife, you'll see the glory of God. On your husband, you'll see the glory of God. In your family, you'll see the glory of God. In the work of your hand, you'll see the glory of God. In your body, in your body, that part of the body that is dead will come alive. It will come alive because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. And as he spoke at that time, is he speaking today? As he commanded at that time, is he commanding today? As he decreed at that time, he's still decreeing today, life is coming. Life is coming to you. Life is coming to you. Power is coming to you. Authority is coming to you. There is anointing here tonight that breaks every you. There's anointing here tonight that raises the dead. There's anointing here tonight that heals the sick. There's anointing here tonight that takes all your yokes away. There's anointing here tonight that is going to solve your problem. And then it says, lose him and let him go. It's happening to you. You cannot escape that miracle power tonight. You cannot escape that decree tonight. You cannot escape the solution of your problem tonight is doing it right now is doing it right now is standing by your graveside is standing by the mouth of that cave where you are is standing by that dungeon where you are and it's going to speak now it's going to speak now it's going to mention your name and it's going to call you to come forth it's going to make the power of God to come into your life and to bloom everything that is negative away from your life and it's going to set you free Free tonight, free tonight, free tonight, free tonight, free tonight from the top of your head to the tip of your toe. You're going to be free in your soul, you're going to be free in your spirit, you're going to be free. He will set you free. All the chains will snap everything, all the bondage will shatter, destroy everything. Set you free, set you free set you free that's why you came tonight that's why you came tonight that's why you came tonight because resurrection power is here supernatural power is here and it says lose him let him go give your life to the lord just hand over everything to the lord lord i believe lord i believe Lord, I believe, and not be like Caiaphas. Lord, I believe, and not be a Pharisee. Lord, I believe, and not be an onlooker. Lord, I believe, and not be a spectator. Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe. I believe the Lord tonight. Hand over your sins unto Him. He has died for you to take all your sins away, and now you're free. Now you're free. Now you're free. He has blotted all the transgressions away. All the guilt he has taken away. Every evil thing he has taken away. And he has set you free. He has set you free. Tell him, tell him, tell him, I'm free. Tell him, I'm free. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. And many believed on him there. And many believed on him there. And many believed on him there. And as many as believe tonight, you receive eternal life. You receive forgiveness of sin. You receive redemption. You receive total freedom. And you receive the salvation of the Lord. Lord, I believe he died for me. I believe 
He took my sins away, I believe. He took my guilt away, I believe. He took all my sorrows away, I believe. And he's taking the curse away. He's taking the yoke away. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. It happens immediately. The peace of God will come to your heart. The joy of salvation will come to your life. A new life will come. Eternal life will come. Abundant life will come. The supernatural power of the Lord will transfer the very life and the very victory of Jesus into your soul, into your spirit. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. And from tonight, things that are negative, all your condemnation is taken away. All the pollution of your sin is taken away. All the guilt is taken away. Damnation is taken away. And it sets you free. It sets you free. It sets you free. Receive it, it's done. Receive it, it's done. Once Jesus said so, the Father confirms it. Heaven confirms it. And the promise is fulfilled in your life. In Jesus' name we pray. And let the believers in the church tonight say, Amen. Let's bow the eyes close. Let's bow the eyes close. You know, Jesus Christ died for everyone. And whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And you know, Caiaphas made a true prophecy, and it was authentic, it was true, it was sound, it was scriptural that Jesus Christ will die for many people. And he died for you. Your name can enter into the book of life right here tonight. And if there's any sin that has bogged you down, any sin that is defeating your life, any sin that is giving you guilt, giving you condemnation, and you know that if you die, in that condition you cannot get to heaven because no sin will get to heaven with any of us but forgiveness is available here tonight forgiveness available here tonight anywhere you are anywhere you are in any location anywhere you are in any church location in any state in any region anywhere you are now you want that forgiveness or so saying yes lord i'm here give me that forgiveness just raise up your hand immediately that salvation will come he made that freedom welcome. Where are you? Where are you? Rest of that time. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, because whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. All these people here and over there and everywhere that believe you tonight and accept your salvation, grant them your forgiveness, grant them your salvation in Jesus' name. Let darkness vanish away. Let oppression vanish away. Let their condemnation vanish away. Give them that freedom, that redemption, that salvation, that conversion right now in Jesus' name. Let your spirit bear witness in their hearts. They are now children of God. Their names are written in the book of life in heaven. It is done. It is done. It is done. Confirm it in their hearts and their lives in Jesus' name. And somebody said... Now, any yoke there, tonight is the end of that yoke. The termination of that sickness and the terminal end of that oppression and all that thing, you know, they put any kind of a stone there and they are forgotten. It's like that thing is incurable. Take away that stone tonight. It's the stone of unbelief. Take that away and let life come. Let life penetrate into that place where you are healing in the dungeon. Healing has come tonight. Deliverance has come tonight. Freedom has come tonight. Every curse is taken away tonight in Jesus' name. Where are you there? You need a miracle. Where are you there? You need a miracle. Father, in Jesus' name. 
We thank you because you are mightily present here. And the name that cannot fail, the name that will enter into every grave and bring out everyone that is bound inside there, that name of Jesus is here tonight. In the name of Jesus, I speak to every one of you. Sickness, be healed in Jesus' name. Whatever it is, you, you know, you brought a sickness. The doctor said, the doctor said that. I cancel it right now. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. Deliverance has come. Every yoke in your life is broken in Jesus' name. The anointing that breaks the yoke cannot fail. And therefore, Lord, I pray, every yoke, every oppression, every cause, I remove it from their lives now in Jesus' name. The healing of the Lord upon your body upon your wife, upon your husband, upon your children, upon your parents. Receive, receive, receive. You are free in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray those who are battling with failure, those who are battling with curse, those who are battling with whatever the devil has put in their lives, I remove that thing by your power. I pray that every evil sinner, the Heavenly Father, has not parted in your life. That thing be uprooted in Jesus' name. Set everyone free. Set everyone free. Lose them and let them go. And I pray, Lord, that you make your blessings to flow into every life tonight. And I pray that as we go, everyone, you go with a miracle. You go with your healing. You go with your deliverance. And you go with your freedom in Jesus' name. It is done. I said it is done. I receive. I said I receive. What are you there? It is unto you according to the pronouncement of the prophecy in Jesus' name. Thank you and God bless you.